Welcome to Hollywood Marketing Lessons Part 1, how you can hack the Hollywood marketing system and use it for your own short films without the Hollywood marketing budget. If you're new here, I'm Charlotte, I'm a film producer and career coach. I help writers, directors and producers create more films and grow to becoming full-time filmmakers. So for part one, we're going to discuss what happened here. So if you haven't seen, Lightyear has underperformed at the box office and I think they made one crucial marketing error here and you are going to be able to avoid falling into this trap. It's surprisingly easy to avoid falling into it, but I was surprised to see that Lightyear struggled with. So the general rule is that someone has to see something about your film 21 times before they will take any kind of action. So that is 21 social media posts before they will take time out of their day to buy a ticket, go to the cinema, watch the film, or even just click on the link to watch the trailer. It's any kind of action, right? Now, bear in mind that we're in the film industry, so we see not just the regular marketing content, we often see the industry updates as well. But even with all of that, I have only seen three pieces of content about Lightyear. I saw the casting announcement, I saw a Chris Evans interview about the differences between Lightyear and Captain America, and I saw the Chris Evans interview with him playing with puppies because I needed that to get through my week. It's not necessarily Lightyear related, I needed it. And so you can start to see how it's really obvious why it would underperform at the box office, right? Because three pieces of content is not nearly enough to warm your audience up to get them excited about going to see the film. I feel like Disney was relying on Disney, Chris Evans and Lightyear having their own inbuilt audiences that would automatically translate to ticket sales. But I don't think it was clear what the story is about, how it relates to Toy Story. It just, there was a lot of uncertainty and that always translates to a lack of ticket sales. So what does this mean for you, your films, and how can you avoid this trap with your own marketing campaigns? Well, really it just means putting a lot more content out there. 21 pieces of content. If you're sharing three posts a week, that's seven weeks that you need to be posting consistently in the run up to the release of your film. Or if you wanted to do two posts a week, then that's more like 11 weeks. So give yourself like a good three months worth of posting. That is more than enough time to warm your audience up, create that sense of anticipation, excitement, and they will be ready to take action. Follow for part two, where we're gonna discuss Jurassic World Dominion.